Hi, everybody. I'm Charlie James, 560 WVOC, Columbia's Morning News. Well, the Biden-Palin debate is over. The pundits have weighed in. America has gone to every poll on every website that you can find. And really, right now, it looks like no concise winner among the undecideds. It seems that, uh, that the folks that like the McCain-Palin ticket, well, they thought that Sarah Palin won. The folks that like the Obama-Biden ticket, well, they thought that Biden won. And I, I tend to agree. I don't think there was any moment in the entire debate that really uh, swayed voters one way or another. I think it merely solidified everyone else's view on their already chosen candidate. But let's take a little look at the debate. I thought Joe Biden was in command of the issues. I thought he did a very good job at being respectful for Sarah Palin. I do not think he did a good job in being respectful to John McCain. He called him John constantly instead of Senator McCain. Um, his incessant uh, sighing into the microphone. And it, it, one time they, they cut away from him when uh, Sarah Palin was answering a question and he was kind of doing one of these numbers right here. So uh, all in all, I thought Joe, uh, Joe Biden did a very, very good job in the debate. Also, I thought Sarah Palin did a very good job in the debate. She needed to come out as being folksy. She needed to come out as being one of the people. And I think she did a very good job in doing that. I don't think there were any huge gaffes. There were some errors in some things that were, uh, were some uh, statistics and some bills uh, that they discussed. There were some errors there, but you're going to get that in, in most debates. It was, all in all, a very watchable debate. I thought uh, Eiffel did a, a great job moderating. I don't think she let her opinion one way or another, or at least it didn't seem to me that uh, she was biased at all. I thought it was a very civil debate. I thought Sarah Palin was as uh, nice and cordial as she could be while also being that pit bull with lipstick. I thought one of the great moments of the debate actually came before the first question was asked when she came out and said, hi, it's nice to meet you. Hey, can I call you Joe? She kind of had me from that moment on. I thought she was great. Did not like all the winking that she was doing. I'm sorry, I just don't want my leaders winking at me. It just, it's, it doesn't seem to me uh, to be very professional, but that's my opinion. And uh, she did come across in, in a, a very good light. So who were the big winners in the debate? Well, I thought Joe Biden won some of his points. I thought Sarah Palin won on some of her points. But the big winner, I think, last night was the American people. We got to see who is number two on both tickets. And we got to hear exactly how they felt about the issues. The debate, all in all, I thought, again, was very watchable. It was a... Uh, a lot of time debates get uh, pretty boring, pretty dull, pretty bogged down in, in statistics and numbers. But last night, I thought, oh, overall, it was a great debate. We're going to see. Over the weekend, we'll get the numbers in, how many people viewed the debate. Only about 54 million people viewed the last presidential debate. We'll see if these numbers are a little bit higher. So all in all, I thought it was a great debate. I thought both candidates really portrayed themselves in a very nice light. My opinion, again... I thought Sarah Palin may have had the edge in connecting with the American people. We'll see. I'd like to get your opinion on that. You can always leave your comments right there, right in that little line above me that says leave comments here. So let us know what you think. I'm Charlie James, 560 WVOC.